Isang magandang buhay sa ating lahat. Now, we are going to continue our lessons. Now, the topic that we're going to discuss is sequence. It's an ordered list of objects or events. It's an ordered list of infinitely many numbers that may or may not have a pattern. So the sequence of natural numbers. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. So and then sequence of odd natural numbers are one, three, five, seven, nine, thirteen, and so on, so forth. So in the list, a sequence is the list of output of function of n, where n is one, two, three, four, five, so on, or we write as f function of n or as f n. A sequence may be listed as subscript of f one, subscript one, f subscript subscript of two. F subscript of three, so on, so that F subscript of one hundred is equal to one hundred number on the list. So F n or the n number on the list, or F subscript of n minus one, so or the n minus one number of the list, or the number right before the function of n. So the nth term in a sequence is given by an a n is equal to n squared plus two all over n. So the first five terms are so pag chinek natin yun, paano natin kukuhanin yung first five terms? So from here, ito yung a sub n is equal to n squared plus n all over two. So sabtuch natin yun yung n is equal to one. So sabtuch natin. So pag sinabtuch natin yun. So to here to this equation, so we have. Yen mga balin niyan. Paano siya nangyare, di ba? Kaniyan yun. Di ba remember ito? Punyare one na isasabtutut natin. So one squared plus one all over two. I say this is one plus one is equal to two over two, which is equal to one. So ito yun, di ba? For example, um, substitute natin bali ng two if n is equal to. So chart try natin. So two Three to squared plus two all over two. So this is four plus two. All over two. It's equal to Six over two, which is three. So, ito yon. So ganon lang yon. Ganon lang yon. So para para siya. Pag kama sa tuto natin yung three, a is three. Makuha natin six. Pag four, ten. Pag five is fifteen. So try nyo gawin. Makukuha nyo yung ganon ba alin? Okay. Next. So the nth term of a sequence v sub n is given by the and v sub n is equal to one minus one over n squared. So the first six terms of the sequence are from the equation. Zero to yon. Yeah, the mga value. So check na natin. So pag one ito. So one minus One over one raised to squared, so it's equal to one minus one. 
is equal to 0. So, tama yung sagot na to. Di ba? Pag 2 naman. So, 1 minus 1 over 2 squared. So, we see go to 1 minus 1 over 4. So, 1 minus 1 fourth is equal to 3 over 4. Paano nangyari yun? Pwede nyo pinitin sa calculator yan. Or, LCD nyo is 4. This is 4. Minus yun. Minus 2. 1. 1. So, we have here 3 over 4. Ayan. Diba? Madali lang. So, ganyan yung ating paggagamit ng sequence. Next slide, please. So, in series, is a co in a common parlance, the words, the words series and sequence are essentially synonyms, synonymous. How are, however, in mathematics, the distinction between the two is that the series is the sum of the terms of a sequence. So, let a sub n be a sequence and define a new sequence of Sn by the recursion relation of S1 is equal to A1 and the S subscript of N plus 1 is equal to N Sn plus A subscript of N plus 1. So the sequence of Sn is called the sequence of partial sums of A sub N. So in another way to think about S of N is that it is a given by the sum of the first n terms of the sequence, a sub n, namely, sn is a1 plus a2, and so on and so forth. Ayan ito, kung ilan itong given na yan, ganyan yung karami. Diba? Kung 10 to, hanggang 10 yun. Diba? O 11, hanggang 11, so on and so forth. So, a shorthand form of writing this sum is using the sigma notation so we have here so this is spread as a s n equals the sum from k equals 1 to n of a subscript of k so we use the subscript of k on the terms a k instead of n so because this is denoting an abstract arbitrary term in the sequence while in n is being used to denote how far we sum the square. So, for the summation of notation, in the mathematics, the Greek letter sigma, sigma means the sum, to sum. Hence, the summation of x means to add the summation, the x, s, or a summation of x multiplied by y means to add the x and y's okay so this are the this is the equation kung idan itong k na to yun yung magsisimula kung e na to ito yung pinakahangganan kung ilan okay so here ayan so the number beginning beginning number so we have the variable which is called the index variable. In this case, k or begins with the bottom number and counts up runs to the top number. So then ending number. Yan. So dito mo sisimula, yun natatapos. Okay? For example, yan. So we have here a k which is 4. So we are going to start at 4. mag mag sa 8. So we have a4, 5, and a6, a7, and a plus 8. So yan yun. So yan ang summation. Oh, ito naman. So sa ayon natin, start tayo ng 2. So magiging a2 plus a3 plus a4 and plus a5. So madali lang, di ba? Paano naman daw yung here? So you're going to multiply. So you're going to start at 6. So we have here a6 b6 plus a7 b7 plus b8 no this is a8 no a a8 yan a8 ayan 
na manila ng pagta-type. That's P8 plus A9 and B9. Okay? Dito ha, mali yan. Next, we have here N plus 3. So, we have here. Ayan. So, mag-start to tayo sa N. So, A, N plus A, N plus 1 plus A, N plus 2 plus A, N plus 3. So, dali lang, di ba? Paano naman daw to? So, mag-sort tayo. So, we have here 5 squared minus 1 plus 6 squared minus 1 plus 7 squared minus 1 plus 8 squared minus 1. So, hanggang 8 tayo, di ba? Okay? So, kung yung value, so we have here, the answer is 170. So, madali lang, di ba, ang summation? Oh, any questions kayo dyan? I hope na nasusundan yung ginagawa natin. So, we have here another one. So, ibig sabihin yung 3 sa substitute natin sa mga value ng K. So, hanggang 5 ba? Ayan, we are going to start at 3. So, we have here. So, ayan, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, and 5. So, pag kinuha natin sabot niyan, so we have here, final answer is negative 14. So, I hope na nasusundan nyo yung ginagawa natin at nagkakaindindihan tayo. So, maraming salamat. So, sa susunod, pag muling pagkikita natin, so we're going to continue our lesson. So, I hope na naitindihan nyo ating diniscuss at ingat po kayo. Maraming salamat. Ciao!